The MacPro Help Desk team welcomes your suggestions for our training and reference materials. Please contact us with your feedback and comments on this training or if you need other MacPro assistance. You may contact us via email at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or by phone at 301-547-4688. Good afternoon, my name is Dana Walter, and I am with Truven IBM Watson. Truven IBM Watson is the education, training, and assistance contractor for the Mac Pro system. The purpose of today's training is to help you understand how to use the new user management functionalities within Mac Pro. The target audience for today's training includes users in administrative roles, state system administrator, CMS System Administrator, CMS Role Approver, Central Office Administrator, and Senior Reviewer. Users with other Mac Pro roles may find today's session valuable, but please note that not all user management functionality is available to all roles. The goal for this webinar is to demonstrate how to use the new features for user management in the Mac Pro system. Following today's training, we will provide slides for your reference. These slides and the video recording of this session will be added to the Mac Pro resource portal on Medicaid.gov. Along with today's slide deck, attached to the invitation for this training is a user management participant guide. This supplemental document is an optional tool to enhance your experience during today's demonstration. Please feel free to utilize the participant guide at your convenience. As a roadmap of our session today, we'll start with a presentation overview of new system updates to Mac Pro user management functionality. We'll then detail which Mac Pro administrative roles are impacted by this new functionality. We'll conclude the presentation overview with information about additional resources for users instructions for receiving technical assistance, and we will conclude our training session with a Mac Pro in-system demonstration of the new user management features. Let's begin. We will start by discussing the latest system updates to Mac Pro user management. Many of you are already familiar with user management in Mac Pro. Today, we'll go over four new helpful functions available in the system. The first new feature we will discuss is requesting roles based on attributes. Formerly, users were only able to request one attribute at a time, such as health homes or adult quality measures. Now, all users may select more than one authority or state at a time when requesting a new role. The second feature change is role removal. All users now have the ability to submit a role removal request for any of their currently assigned roles. Administrators, referring to the State System Administrator, SSA, CMS System Administrator, CSA, CMS Role Approver, CRA, Central Office Administrator, CO Admin, who ordinarily receive role addition requests for a role removal request, the approver will need to take action to either approve or deny removing a user's role. Here is a summary of the functionality we just discussed listed by role for your future reference. The third feature change is task reassignment. As you can probably guess by its name, certain users now have the ability to reassign particular tasks. Specific users may reassign their own tasks for self-reassignment. Specific users may also reassign tasks on behalf of other users, moving a task from one Mac Pro user to another eligible user with matching role and attributes. For example, senior reviewers with matching component, region, and office type attributes can reassign tasks for certain users. Tasks may also be removed from a user's task queue. Here is a summary of new task reassignment functionality listed by role. 
again for your future reference. The fourth feature change is routing of CMS point of contact, or CPOC, tasks. CPOC tasks will now be routed to a CPOC with attributes that match the package. In addition, CPOCs can have a read-only view of the package even if they drop their authority attribute that matches the package. We won't be going into detail on this update in today's demonstration. This slide is provided for your future reference. Here is a summarized list of all new user management functionalities by role. Next, let's talk about the applicable Mac Pro administrative roles who will be using these functionalities. There are five Mac Pro user roles with role administration capabilities. As we mentioned before, the State System Administrator, SSA, CMS Central Office Administrator, CMS CO Admin, CMS Role Approver, CRA, the CMS System Administrator, or CSA, and the CMS Senior Reviewer. Let's review these roles and see what's changed. On the state side, there is only one administrative role, the State System Administrator, or SSA. The SSA is responsible for reviewing and dispositioning state user role requests and creating and maintaining the state profile. The SSA can also view system reports for the state. New features marked in italics are SSAs can now reassign state-specific tasks on behalf of users and review and disposition state role removal requests. Please note, all requests for the SSA role are routed to the CMS system administrator, also known as the CSA. On the CMS side, multiple user roles have role administration capabilities. The CMS System Administrator, also called the CSA, reviews and either approves or denies user role requests. You'll notice the new functionality marked once again in italics. CSAs can now reassign tasks on behalf of the package approver or disapprover, the disapproval coordinator, senior reviewer, and CMS CO Admin. Also new, as marked in italics, the CSA can now review and disposition role removal requests. Users with this role may also continue to run system reports as needed. The CSA cannot request any other user role. The CMS Role Approver, also known as the CRA, reviews and approves or denies CMS Point of Contact or CPOC and Submission Review Team SRT, user role requests. New functionality for this role includes reassigning tasks for the CPOC role and reviewing and dispositioning role removal requests for CPOC and SRT roles. Additionally, this role is specific to each Medicaid state plan authority. For example, if you would like to be a CRA for health home spas along with eligibility spas, we encourage you to request the role twice, once for each respective authority. This role cannot request the CSA role. The CMS CO Admin, also known as the CCA, is a role for CMS Central Office staff with direct responsibility for implementing and or administrating the quality measurement programs. The CCA reviews and approves or denies CMS CORO, Researcher and Technical Assistance, Analytic Support Role Requests, and reassigns tasks on behalf of CCA and Technical Assistance or Analytic Support Roles. This role cannot request the CSA role. The final CMS Mac Pro role with role administration capabilities is the CMS Senior Reviewer. Users with this role can view system reports, evaluate recommended submission package dispositions, 
review submission package disapproval justification, and reassign tasks for a package approver or disapprover, disapproval coordinator, senior reviewer, and CPOC. In addition to this recorded training and the accompanying slides, we have other resources available for your reference. Should you need additional information on Mac Pro user management, please visit the links listed here to view the recorded Mac Pro role and administrative training and corresponding slide deck. These resources are valuable for new users deciding which user role they will need to request, as well as experienced users needing a refresher on specific functions for all Mac Pro roles. In addition to the resources just discussed, technical assistance is available to Mac Pro users via the Mac Pro Help Desk. Some common issues we receive at Help Desk may be avoided by working in web browsers compatible with Mac Pro. This table outlines web browser version details for accessing the system. Please note that Google Chrome is the optimal and recommended web browser for Mac Pro. Should you choose to access Mac Pro with Internet Explorer, version 11 is required. If necessary, we encourage you to work with your organization's IT department to prepare for working in Mac Pro. This table lists the software requirements for accessing Mac Pro. Again, this is for your future reference as you use the Mac Pro system. For inquiries or issues related to the Mac Pro system, please email the Mac Pro Help Desk at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or you may call 301-547-4688. You may also select the Request System Help link within Mac Pro, and your request will be routed to the Help Desk. In order to expedite an answer to your technical assistance request, please include the following information in your email to the Mac Pro Help Desk. Your contact information, including your email and callback number, the program and authority you are using, such as Mac Pro Quality Measures (AQM). Provide a detailed summary of your inquiry. If applicable, specify the last screen viewed or activity performed before experiencing the issue, and include screenshots of the issue you are experiencing. This concludes the presentation segment of today's user management training. We hope you found this information helpful in continuing your work in Mac Pro. The Mac Pro Help Desk team welcomes your suggestions for our training and reference materials. Please contact us with your feedback and comments on this training or if you need other Mac Pro assistance. You may contact us via email at macpro underscore helpdesk at cms.hhs.gov or by phone at 301-547-4688.